That's a Tamil version to that. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I think that's a lovely video. <laughs> but welcome back to Hello Anju. Uh, you're with us. And of course, every Monday we have the Green Man in the studio. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for joining us, Matthias. My pleasure to be here. How's your Monday so far? Uh, I came back last night from, from Philippines uh, oh. looking at uh, green projects there, how they cleaned up the rivers. Beautiful, amazing stuff. But I had very little sleep, so I felt a bit sleepy when waking up. But I'm good now. <laughs> mm. I'm good now. When I'm with you guys, I'm good. Aww. Aww. We'd like to say welcome and good morning to uh, Yamulia Tunku Kaisha Tunku Kami Ikram, uh, President of uh, Persatuan Pelindung and Kazana Alam Peka. And welcome, Isaac. Thank you Hi so guys. much for joining us. It's Monday morning, so good thank morning. you for joining us today. <laughs> Alright, so um, uh -huh. there's there's this really exciting um, collaboration uh, that we were going to be sharing with all the viewers today. So can you tell us, you know, what's uh, the latest updates with you and Sutamasha uh, Environment Trust. Trust? Yeah, the great <laughs> news is there's going to be a big eco gala mm -hmm. next week, Tuesday night, and mm -hmm. it's going to be organized by Saset. Mm -hmm. to raise funds for the great work they are doing in Pahang. Mm -hmm. I'm a friend of Saset. I um, will support that event and I want to participate in one of their programs. They have this program, Adopt a Kampung, yep. mm -hmm. where you can actually support a kampung to go green, to clean up the river, mm -hmm. to replant the trees, to support the people in appreciating exactly. the value of preserving Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. And there I'm a kampung boy. I come from a small German kampung, 500 people. Mm -hmm. So I said to Tunku Kaisha, I would like to adopt a 500 people kampung to have, you know, the same kind of size, the same kind of emotional connectivity. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day I can tell them about my kampung in Germany, what <laughs> we do there, uh, when we used to clean up the rivers and, and clean up the forests. Mm -hmm. With all the kampung people working together, we used to drive around with our small tractors mm -hmm. and we collect all the trash that we could find all over the place. And Have we you picked the up place yet? <laughs> Not, Not yet. yet. <laughs> to come, to come. And he has to teach them how to speak English because otherwise they won't understand you. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. You have to learn how to speak Malay. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, that's yeah. still one of my uh, projects that I am uh, keen to work on. Malay, 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 So you've got a job a kampung. You have the the rangers in training, yep. and then you have uh, the greening pahang program. Yes. They, they're going to be busy. They've been oh, busy yeah. for the past few years. So oh, what, yes. what else is in the pipeline? <laughs> Um, basically, we launched all three. Uh, well, we launched the two simultaneously: uh, mm -hmm. Adopt the Kampung and the Rangers, because obviously we couldn't have done the Gotong Royong without the Rangers helping us. Yep. Um, but that was launched last year, and then this year we launched the Greening Pahang project mm -hmm. mm. Uh, in Pekan, uh -huh. uh, around the the new Sultan Abu Bakar Museum. Okay. Yep. And then, yeah. um, hopefully, uh, I think. By the end of the year, if not the beginning of next year, we'll try and launch our uh, Nurture Through Nature, our education and awareness campaign, where Matt can come in and mm. teach them English and, you know, how to speak about nature in English, teach our volunteers mm. how to talk about nature in English so they can make some money out of that, being mm -hmm. nature guy. guides. Exactly. Mm. I see. Yeah. Now, how did a superstar like Aizat yeah, yeah, come on, what's your involvement, man? Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I'm performing on the gala night, oh. and um, yeah, but, but nature has been something that is really important for me mm -hmm. uh, as a teenager, and uh, I don't know that um, that I, I don't know that if a lot of teenagers right now are aware of, of nature mm -hmm. somehow. I mean, I don't think they even think about it. They rather think about Facebook or Twitter <laughs> rather than thinking about nature. Yeah, your even. dad is from Pahang. Yeah, right. So what do you like about Pahang the most? What the food? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, that is straight of a right e easy answer. Yeah, yeah. Easy, yeah, easy answer. Okay, have the patin goreng and you mm -hmm. have all the lemak lemak stuff. Is yeah, but if you don't take care of the river, you don't have the patin. Ah, that's right. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why we need to. Really and then you know the ulam ulam and everything, all yeah. those vegetables. That's why I made for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look at Pahang, I mean, it's got some of the most amazing biodiversity Absolutely. in the country. So it's National one of Park. the yeah, it's mm. one of the states that really needs to be uh, taken good yeah. care of in yeah. terms of uh, the the biodiversity of Mother Nature. There, mm. it's amazing. Yeah. Now, um, uh, educating people about how important it is to take care of nature, but you know, at the same time, you are, you you do want to promote tourism, and yeah. that mm. will mean incoming traffic of people as well. So, how do you balance out? You know, introducing and educating them and not ruining the place mm. at the same time. Oh, right now I guess uh, I just have to leave it up to fate <laughs> and do my best really. That's why working with, the, I mean, we're a small organization, we just started, but 
we're constantly making friends, we're constantly collaborating with people, especially um, government agencies who can help us spread the word, uh, train their people how to how to make it right and things like that. And it's a, uh, we're taking baby steps, you know, I'm not like, you know, banging down doors and things like that. I'm just making my way one step at a time. Yeah. <laughs> and if you look at that, I mean, economic value creation mm -hmm. through tourism, if you go ecotourism, you go for higher value customers. Yeah. Yeah. And that is one of the opportunities in Malaysia to look at biodiversity preservation as a way of attracting people to come in mm -hmm. and actually spending money. And there are a lot of people that want to go on holiday not spoiling Mother Nature, mm. not destroying yeah. Mother Nature. Mm. They want to take good care. So this is a tourism opportunity. Yeah. Uh, even looking at preserving the forest, looking at the value, mm. the value in the herbs, the value yeah. in the traditional medicine that the Orang Asli yeah. know about. Mm. You know, those are uh, business opportunities that are based on preserving yeah. Yeah. rather yeah. than chopping. So exactly. we need to work on some of these issues with the Kampung people mm. so that they can make money from healing the planet rather than from destroying the planet. That's so good, good for the earth for the business. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but that's uh, also one of our uh, main intentions of the whole Adopt the Kampong and getting the community involved mm -hmm. uh, so that we, we want to try and make it so that every district has a specialty product that they can focus on and work mm -hmm. on and develop and uh, bring some income. Yeah, extra income for Yeah, the because people. you know rural poverty uh, is, yeah. is something like in Manila, yeah. it's yeah. it's really bad. So we don't want I mean urban poverty, sorry. Yeah. So we don't want the rural kids coming into the urban cities yeah. and you know yeah. trying to look for extra income mm -hmm. when they can do it right at their doorstep. Really. Yeah. Actually what I saw in Manila there was this one professor from a university. Mm -hmm. uh, he was supposed to become the dean of the university, but he decided to instead help the Kampung people with developing coconut technology actually he has one of his products Ooh, this is wow, for tree planting technology. but actually even more excitingly he developed these coconut nets that are now being used instead of concrete to cover slopes ah. mm. so all these kampung people now have better jobs with higher income generation uh -huh. because they are doing these these coconut nets before they were not making money with coconut uh, plants yeah uh, and this is one of the ideas that i took from uh, the philippines where you know it's becoming commercially they're exporting to all over the world mm -hmm. they have to start new factories because everybody wants these coconuts mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they've been proven to be even better than concrete yeah. and slope stabilization so we need to come up with those yeah. things yeah. for the company exactly. people i see That's amazing. Amazing. Uh, we're speaking about collaborations right uh, coincidentally sukan malaysia sukma yep. it's going to yeah. be in paha exactly so any uh, collaboration mm -hmm. with that um actually i i zenith hotel is one of our uh sponsors for mm -hmm. uh, sasset mm -hmm. okay. so when i saw them a few months ago i was like so are you gonna try and put some recycling bins doing uh, sukma uh -huh. so they're like okay we'll think about it <laughs> <laughs> No, um, Isaac, you know, yeah. with all your flower, uh, followers on Twitter and on Facebook, you know, your voice reaches out to a whole lot of people. Oh. What are, you know, what are your efforts in ensuring, you know, people do their bits in protecting the environment? Well, I do, I do, I do try to do something like a performance, mm -hmm. uh, not never using any electricity. But I don't know if it's that possible or not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I've done it before, maybe. I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay, but, uh, but what I want to do is actually just... I, I, I'm a, yeah, we might not change everything. the world like everything, right? Mm -hmm. So we just want to make it, yeah, like Kasha said, um, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. And the world has its way of changing itself, mm -hmm. you know. It's just, we don't need to be the, the dictator to dictate the tempo of how the world, on how the world changes. Mm -hmm. So, better than just Maybe let let it go and just <laughs> let, let the world be and let it work by itself mm -hmm. rather than we destroying mm -hmm. it and dictating the way it's changing. Mm -hmm. Actually, we met Mars first in 2010 at a conference and you were giving an amazing <laughs> talk, yeah, you I know. did. Your message was so beautiful coming from your heart yeah. and I was really touched when I, 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 That's I didn't even know him as a singer. Yeah, yeah uh, and he gave a green talk there and it was beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, that, that kind of message coming from the heart uh, touched me and I'm sure it touches your your followers, yeah. maybe you can you touch make my it green heart as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Green album in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, actually, you know. we already did. I already did um, on my second album. Uh -huh. I did a mm. um, uh, cardboard. What is it called, Ken? The cardboard cover. Cover yeah. cover. Yeah, yeah. It's a recycled yeah. cover. Yeah. Album yeah. cover for the yeah. album yeah. cover. Yeah. So yeah, wow. we did that. You can check it out. <laughs> My second album, Urusan Aizam yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan. If, if you're trying to you know, figure out which, which yeah. album uses the recyclable materials, then that would be it, Urusan Aizam Dan. Yeah, Urusan Aizam Dan. Yeah. The one that looks like 
Recycle paper. Yeah, recycle yeah. paper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there you go. go. There you go. Mm. All right. Now, um, you know, Pahang has uh, it has everything from the highlands to the forests, to the, to the beaches, beaches, and you pretty much have the whole deal. So, um, starting, you know, where do you start? With so many we start. That you to we actually started out in Taman Negara. Mm. Uh, that's where everything started because that's the gateway, and yeah. you know, Taman Negara is famous. Mm. So we started by adopting the 14 kampongs around the riverbanks. Mm -hmm. So that's where we, we started doing our work at situ, mm -hmm. one by one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with the volunteer rangers, we mm -hmm. gave them training how to uh, assist the Jabatan Bomba and things like that with emergency response. Mm -hmm. And um, the report that I got back towards the end of last year was that um, there have been reduced numbers and reports of like missing people and mm -hmm. things like that. So it's kind of helped. Uh, with the way things have been going mm. and, and, and also we help uh, set up a solid waste dis uh, disposal system because oh, okay. before that there was no such thing uh -huh, uh -huh. really well there was but people just didn't practice it so now we kind of like trying to get them to do it right yeah. The beautiful thing about taking the trip up river and down river, uh, downstream of Taman Negara, no one trip is the same. Mm. Every single trip promises a different exactly. experience. So you should go there many, many times. I was there. I didn't want to come back. <laughs> um, yeah, so the upcoming gala night. Mm -hmm. Can you share with us more on that? The upcoming gala will be at Mandarin Oriental Kuala Lumpur mm -hmm. at the Grand Ballroom on the 17th of July mm -hmm. on a Tuesday. We start at 7.30. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be some eco stalls at the foyer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we've got uh, Isaac mm -hmm. yeah. singing, <laughs> and we've got Datuk Katija Ibrahim, yeah. we've got Shareza, he's uh, one of the advisors for, for the night as well, he's yep. been very heavily involved as well, mm -hmm. thank you very much. And then uh, we've got a Showtime uh, by Datuk Siti Nohaliza. Yeah. And uh, another international friend of Sasset, Mr. Maz Jobrani, mm. will be gracing us with his presence and uh, giving a half an hour uh, comedy show for the night, oh. just to mix it up a little. And then we've got another special performance by my cousins, my little cousins, giving back to Pahang in the way of music and dance. Oh, okay. yeah. Same like Isaac. Yeah. And of course, I forced them to plant trees as well sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> any, any tree planting coming up? Um, actually, uh, even as we're speaking, well, not exactly right now, but if did over the weekend okay. uh, and last weekend, uh, four mukims in Pekan, uh, there were some tree planting activities going and we planted about 1,250 trees mm. over the so. last two weekends, uh, got the Majlis Daira yeah. involved and the community, local community involved, including our rangers. So yeah, we've got about 150 rangers now. Yeah. Will you be planning to adopt a kampung as well? Oh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an opportunity. Yeah. If you see a lot of musically inclined people, that would be Isaac. Oh, yeah. Isaac. Yeah. You see a lot of people so hearing really guitars. There will be more people flocking to the company. Yeah. Yeah. Especially uh, the teenagers. You're in for some sort of competition right here. <laughs> yeah, teenage girls. They're coming to my kampung. They're coming to your kampung. <laughs> Uh, Which is your dad's company? My dad's company is a Rao. Oh, Rao. Yeah. Oh. You can start with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There'll be tree planting on the 16th. Yeah. Mine will be Maran. So, oh, okay. <laughs> mm. so mm. disperse around the area. Cool. So, so um, what's going to be happening for the rest of the week mm. in your calendar? Uh, I'll be actually in Miri on the 14th and uh -huh. in Kuching on the 15th, okay. participating in green carnivals that uh -huh. are organized by KETA, the Green Tech Ministry, yeah, okay. and uh, Green Tech Corporation. Uh -huh. uh, then on the 15th, there will be a tree planting in Shah Alam. 16th, there will be a tree planting by Pekka mm -hmm. in Rao. Yeah, okay. so, uh, but I won't be able to participate because I'm going to be here <laughs> on the 16th <laughs> in the morning. And I won't because, be able to yeah. participate because <laughs> the next <laughs> week. Yes, exactly. yes. So, but our wow. viewers can come to uh, Miri to the Green Carnival on Saturday, uh -huh. to Kuching Green Carnival on Sunday, to, KL, Shalam, K to yeah. KLCC on the 15th. The Prime yes. Minister will be launching the One Malaysia for Youth, mm. uh -huh. and then Perka is going to be part of that as well. Mm -hmm. So, so many things Lots going on in July. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Busy, busy calendar. Yeah, yes, I'm busy. You? I'm not busy. <laughs> 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 I'm just in, in my studio and doing songs. Dragging around. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, 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 we, sure. we are dragging. <laughs> sure. hey, actually, You'll yeah, be down the like gala night. I would like to participate if I have the opportunity, but uh, yeah, yeah, I do have practices anytime. and everything. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. Just we'll call me up, man. We'll get you to some of the tree planting. I want to see you dancing, man. I want to see what dance do. I do a green tech dance. Green tech dance. Green technology dance. What is it like? It. You need to give me some space, uh, you, yeah. know, you know, just, you know, <laughs> protect Mother Nature, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean... Oh, you got some rapping doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried it, I always thought I was a bad singer, so... Uh, 
Maybe yeah. I have this limiting belief. Maybe ah. I should start trying it out. You should know. get I'm together and collaborate. <laughs> I'm a good dancer in my kampung. I thought, you know, I couldn't <laughs> dance, but then... No, we were talking before. <laughs> we were just, yeah, we thought of an idea of yes. uh, maybe putting him on my show on uh -huh. Gala Night. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe he's doing some yeah. dancing or... Dancing. He's a banana leaf. He's eco-friendly, recyclable clothing. You should have a costume, man. Yes. Something like green Incredible Hulk costume. You know, we're talking about a green man. You guys are getting carried away. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, make, yeah. It happen, yeah. dude, make it happen, make it happen. All right. Make your heart green. Before they That's run off to the studio and collaborate on a new album, <laughs> or something, um, uh, uh, Tunku, can you share with us uh, any websites or any, uh, yeah. hotlines mm -hmm. that we can go to for more information of the gala night? Uh, www.sastrust.com S-A-S-T-R-U-S-T.com uh -huh. And uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, Sultan Amasha Environment Trust mm -hmm. or SAS Environment Trust, mm -hmm. uh, Twitter, SAS Trust. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can call, um, she's going to hit me, my hotline 019 330 9658. Puan Aida, uh. <laughs> she's going to kill me. Okay, and then uh, email yeah. or email us at admin at sastras.com. Right. Yeah. Good luck. Um, Isaac, your Twitter handle. Alright, um, you guys can watch me ramble uh, <laughs> on my Twitter. Uh, Isaac Amdan. Muhammad Isaac Amdan actually, M U H D A I Z A T A M D A N, or you can log into my Facebook, oh. Isaac Amdan, right. and there you can watch my updates and read my updates and everything here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I want to have one one day hundred thousand plus fans like Isaac. No, <laughs> he will. He will. I mean, just you just gotta you just gotta rap. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe yeah. Uh, yeah, we have oh, to work on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. com <laughs> commercialism. <laughs> Wearing some thousand clothing. Yeah. Just Google the green man and you'll find him oh somewhere. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, off the hook now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thank you so much. Yeah. It's been a joy having you thank here. You. Thank, thank you so much for having. Um, we will be talking about uh, something uh, more on the more serious uh, line <laughs> after this. Osh people, listen up, Osh, employees gosh. and bosses. Yes, occupational up. safety hell. Yep, so we'll be right back. Uh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh